how does one decide whether one should or should not have premarital sex and does it prepare us for a better marital life see different people are made differently this happened there was a little turtle baby turtle with great difficulty it climbed up a tree went and sat on the edge of a branch and jumped fell flat on the ground again it took another 24 hours for it to slowly climb get to that branch again jump again fell flat like this it day after day it was doing then there were two birds in the opposite tree they were sitting there and among themselves they shook their head and said i think it's time we tell him he's adopted For everybody, we are trying to draw the same prescription. This is not going to work because I've seen, you know, every day I'm meeting thousands of people, they're poor, they are problems on me, all kinds of stuff. What I see is all these people who talked about great amount of freedom, when it comes to their personal lives, after thirty, forty years of marriage, not two, three years, after thirty years of marriage, Still what the wife did or the husband did thirty-five years ago, still point of conflict. <laughs> have you seen or no? You have also seen. So when you know this is the state of human mind, you must know what to do and what not to do. It is not… it is not a question of morality, it's a question of what kind of life do you want to craft for yourself. It's about that. Is it a morality? Is it that nobody should get into anything or everybody should get into something? There's no such thing. What kind of life are you wanting to craft for yourself? A kind of life where your relationships mean really binding yourself in such a way that truly you can depend on yourself or it's like visiting restaurants every day you want to taste something new and see, but you could get very unhealthy with that. There are some people who stick to their home food, though it tastes about the same every day, but those people are generally healthy, isn't it? <laughs> this is not… I'm not trying to teach you a moral class. I'm not a moral class person, but these kind of things are happening in the society, people are trying to draw prescriptions. Everybody must do this, otherwise you're no good, or everybody should not do it, otherwise you're no good. No, that's not the way. There was a time in this culture and even every culture, by the time a girl is fifteen or sixteen, she was married. By the time a boy is seventeen or eighteen, he was married. Now because of our education systems and professional requirements and society has changed, everything has changed. Because of that, Average marriage age for girls is around twenty-four in this country right now and for boys it's crossing twenty-eight, thirty. The peak of hormonal impact on human life is somewhere between fifteen to thirty. After that it's not the same thing. So, this is at least something we must debate. But we should not be hasty to draw a conclusion, this is the way, that is the way. We must give enough awareness to people that they don't get into something compulsively which they regret later. If consciously, if people see that this is the way I want to craft my life, that's up to the individual. But there is no common prescription, it should… there should never be a common prescription. Because individual requirements are very different. <laughs>